Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And yeah, I haven't posted for a couple of days, and I uh, got a few emails and texts, texts, text, 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 oh, whatever, um, asking why I haven't, and checking up on me to make sure I was okay and not laying in a ditch somewhere turned into dog food um no i'm just a little on the downside and uh, i feel depressed and angry at the same time as i went through uh, that court case about my inheritance and the day before the court case i received a letter in the mail from the uh, phony executor and his lawyer stating that back in February they had completed the inventories and appraisals and they should be ready to disperse um, the monies and, and stuff to the beneficiaries um, sometime in um, May, the latest, but pro probably earlier, that uh, the, uh, the, the money should have been um, getting set up to be dispersed now. Now, the dirt bags that I call them, the estate attorney and the executor, didn't even have the balls to show up for that court date, <laughs> they they sent another uh, probate attorney in their place, claiming that it was a uh, pre-planned vacation is the reason they couldn't be there. Bullshit, and I'm going to say that out loud. Bullshit. They are a bunch of lying pieces of crap. And yes, I know I've heard it before. Lawyers are professional liars. That's all there is to it. But they're also professional crooks. They're leeches. They make their money off of taking your money to do something that shouldn't have to be done. And all they have to do is use a bunch of big words and they get paid for that. And they get paid very well for that. And they get rich off your money and off your suffering. That's not right. It's wrong. It's very wrong. And that's my rant for the day. So I'm pretty pissed off about that. And uh, I just uh, contacted the niece of the uh, the deceased. And she's got the, the retained the attorney because she got the most money. But uh, I've also found out that this... Um, scumbag executor who uh, claimed, he told me, that uh, he had Bill changed to a will and eliminate the trust that Bill had because um, a will is better than a trust. Well, this paper that I just received says that this scumbag has filed for a trust for the house and real estate that he got through the will. How do you like that? He, tell, he tells Bill that a will is better than a trust, and then he gets the property, switches the title into his name, and immediately stops a trust to protect those assets from anybody taking them. How do you, how do you like that? Yeah, yeah, crooked. And I'm going to say it again, crooked. These assholes need to be in jail. They are not honest people. They are not good for society. They're trash. Anyway, now that I've finished that rant, you can rant down below for me also. Because they got a continuance through the court somehow. And if this paper had been filed with the court, the judge should have had it. And it should have uh, told him that we were going to get our money before May. 
So he wouldn't have had to give us a continuance until August 1st, is which is what he did. So either this judge is in on this whole scheme or he, he didn't have those papers filed and it says in the paperwork that that stuff that paper was filed back in February. So, so it should have been in the court's hands, and they should the court the judge should have known about all of this information, and that makes me really really angry, as you can understand I'm sure. Anyway, um, I got in, in touch with the. Uh, Bill's niece, who has the attorney, and and told her all of this, and she didn't get the paperwork until after the court day too, and uh, she didn't understand what it was all about. But I've read it over four or five times, and it states right on there that if any of that is untrue uh, in that paperwork, then the executor who signed it back in February is guilty of perjury. So that's where we're going to look next and see if we can't get them on that. And if we can show that there was a conspiracy here, then his trust, his filing is worthless. He can, he can throw that out the door because uh, you can't conspire to embezzle um, something like that or what they call hijacking an estate. You can't do that and legally get away with it if it's found out. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some action out of this new uh, information that's become available to us. So, boy, am I upset. And that's why I haven't um, posted. I'm just too upset to post. I, mean, I was in no condition in the past couple of days because... Um, if I don't get some money before, um, even before May, then I'm not going to make it. I'm going to default on, on too many things, and I'm going to end up having to probably sell this property, file bankruptcy, and I don't know what I'll do from there. This was supposed to be my home, and my... Um, final resting place until that day comes when I go visit Bill and uh, sit down and have a long talk with him about this whole thing. And I'm not worried about the, these two lawyers uh, being there when that happens because they're going to a much hotter place than we are. Dirt bags. Anyway, you got to look at my garden as I walk through here ranting. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you are probably closed off already and didn't want to hear the whole rant. But uh, I'm sorry about that. But I did have to get that off my chest so I can try to figure out how I'm going to get enough money to buy dog food, pay for my bills at the end of the month, and uh, all the way through the month because I... This, my bills scatter out through the month, and because I've had to borrow so much, um, I can't afford not to pay off my credit cards because I've borrowed against those too just to get to this point. And it's, a lot of that has to do with uh, my ex wife taking my retirement from me before I could. Um, use it, and also um, Bidenomics. Uh, if Trump had still been in office right now, uh, I would have saved a lot of money along the way, and it wouldn't be in this condition. So anyway, that's my story, and uh, I'm sorry for ranting on all you people. That's uh, I got it off my chest, though. Maybe I can function and move on. I'm going to have to um, sell my reserve silver and gold. Um, that might get me through a month or two. And, uh, but it's all gone at that point. So, and I, I'm going to have to reel in the strings so I don't um, spend any money. So, 
I'm going to lose a lot of weight getting hungry and I've already lost a lot of weight because I haven't had uh, any beer or anything for well all the way back since my sciatica hit I quit because of the sciatica but then kept on going because I can't afford anything so that's my story everybody I want to thank you all for your support um, please uh, watch and share give me a thumbs up all of that helps because I am monetized and I do get a little bit of money out of that per month it's not much but if I lost all of that or if that um, decreases it's going to make things worse so um, all of those things thumbs ups uh, comments sharing all of that um, watching the video all the way through that all counts for income for me so please do so i appreciate it thank you all this is g bear signing off